This is just a disclaimer for the video. I know and a few people told me that brow tinting isn't allowed in certain states and in other states it's totally allowed. Her business is in Australia and she has salons there and it's like legit over there. It's kind of one of those things. Check to see if your state allows brow tinting. It's a whole like die close to your eye type of situation I believe for safety reasons. But I know people out here in California be bleaching their brows. Okay, that's I mean, I know that. I just wanted to vlog the whole experience and you know, if you guys are somewhere where brow tinting is allowed, I totally recommend it, especially if you have a little getaway and you just wanna be waking up with brows on. But anyways, that's just my disclaimer, look it up. And yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Hello. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little more casual because I'm doing something very exciting and I was like, you know what? I wanna do this and vlog it to show you guys and see what it's all about. Today we are going to be trying brow tinting. And I don't mean just like brow hair tinting, okay? Because when I think of brow tinting, I think they just tint your actual brow hairs. But I don't have a problem with like the tint of my hairs. I have a problem with lack of hair. And I have thought about microblading and I know a lot of you guys ask me how I feel about microblading, but to me it's like very permanent and Doing YouTube videos, I feel like it's so nice for me to be able to manipulate my brows in different ways and I feel like if I do something permanent like a microblading tattoo that I won't be able to do certain looks. Also, I'm very picky and I'm like, what if I hate it? What if I don't love the microblading? With that said, there is somebody on Instagram that I always see their microblading photos and I'm like, if I ever decided to do that, I would go with her and I'll link her in the description box. Her name's Haley. She's amazing and she's also a makeup artist so I feel like I can trust that she understands like the brow shapes. They look so good. And don't get me wrong, I love doing my eyebrows. It's one of my favorite things to do about my makeup. Everything brows is like where it's at. So the other night I went to a party and I ran into JD Wadey and she introduced me to her friend and she's like, yeah, this is my friend. She does brow tinting. And my mind obviously went to like brow tinting, brow hairs. And I was like, oh, that's really, really awesome. And it was like, nice to meet you. And then um, JD Wadey's like, yeah, she did my brows the other day. And I was like, oh, that's nice. You have makeup on over them though, right? And she said, no, that her brows were just the tint and she had to put no makeup on. She just woke up and she had brows. And I was like, I said, let me see. I was up in her brows and I thought it was the coolest thing ever and I've never heard of that before. She actually tints the whole shape of the brow so that it looks like you have a filled in brow. She's from Australia, but she's visiting right now. I've never seen this done before and the best part about this is it's not permanent. It only lasts four to six weeks. So if you don't like it, so we are gonna be filming the process today. It could go amazing or it could just go terribly bad for me. I don't know. It's risky. I'm gonna finish doing my hair so I don't look so crazy when she comes over, and then I'm gonna show you guys the process and we'll see how this goes, okay? We shall see. Take a good look at my brows before, okay? These are my before brows. Struggle brows. Boom, Melanie's here. Let's do this. So my name is Melanie, I'm from Australia. Um, so this is my method of brow tinting. It gives you a slight stain on the skin. So basically the pomade, mm -hmm. that's sort of a look with like a natural um, front fade through the front. You can achieve this using tint. For you, I would mix half and half of these shades. So this is light brown and this is natural brown. And then we've got the peroxide here and we just mix it to an even consistency. I'm ready to be a new one. Basically, this current trend is to have your brow 
as full as, as you can, really. I think it's like, especially for this, because I was telling them earlier, I'm like, I like changing my bra shape. Like, yeah, I watched, I actually watched yours after, and um, I noticed that you do do lots of different like strokes, or you do like a really full like bowl. Mm -hmm. It would just be nice to just wake up and have a bra. My dad, came, I always put a bra on before I go anywhere, and before I used to have even less bras. Um, and my dad came over one day and he's like, oh my god, I've never seen you without your brows. I could tell by the way he was looking at me that he was like, whoa. <laughs> now I love filling in my brows too. It's like something I like to enjoy doing. So that's why I also like that it's not permanent, you know, for me, for what I do. I'm like, I yeah. love it. I think so. I mean, you can change it as well. Only problem now is that you live in Australia and I'm kind of like, <laughs> <laughs> selfish of you to like live in Australia, you know what I mean? <laughs> I feel like the straight part, I always feel like when I do it, the straight part of this one is longer, but the end is shorter. Yeah, oh. and your arch on this side is actually um, a is lot finer. Yeah, it's a little bit. I can never get the two arches when I pencil them in like completely. That's really normal though. So now we're wiping off the tint. like just powder. Mm -hmm. Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god, so this part she wiped off the tint already and it looks like powder. It has slightly stained the skin, but what it does is, it, is all of your baby hairs through the top, like that's the Oh, hair. yeah. So that's why people say like, oh my god, I didn't know I had that much hair. It's because the tint will pick it up for you. You like what you see, student? Or what? Yeah, it's gonna get us out the door on time. Oh, yeah. oh, you right now? No, he's saying that I take. He said it, it'll get now. Oh get ready shit! Back. I was like, he's throwing shade at me. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just waiting for the tint to do what it do. Is this it? My reveal. I'm gonna look in the mirror. Oh my goodness! This is crazy. It seriously just looks like powder. Do you know how fast I want to get ready now? Like this is insane. I love it! Oh. Let me just, oh, this is insane. Look at that, boom, boom. Brow tinting, y'all, get into it. I love it, thank you, thank so you. Glad. This is so cool. This is the after brow, let me get up in it, okay? This is no makeup in the hair, it's just the tint. It's not permanent, it lasts four to six weeks, and then it's gone. It's like a Cinderella brow, but I mean, this is insane. The fact that I can just wake up like this and go to the gym is so amazing. This is a really good alternative to microblading if you don't want anything permanent, because this is not permanent. Waking up with brows, what a life changer. What a game changer. I hope you guys enjoyed my process. Um, I give this experience a definite thumbs up. I am living for it dying for it oh my god all right just checking in on you guys this is an update it's been two days some parts are fading like this part right here was just I have no hair whatsoever there so the tint didn't really pick up as strongly as it did on the other sides but honestly it's like if I just have to take a pencil to that part of my brow, I'm not complaining. It's not a big deal. Make sure you check out Melanie's Instagram page. She has a bunch of transformations on there and you guys could see a little bit more. And if you have any questions that I didn't cover in this video, I'm sure she has all her information on her website and her Instagram. So go ahead and check it out. Bye. Bye again. Imagine if this is like fell on my face. Oh my God, that's always the biggest fear of mine. Sabotage. I need a cotton ball. Is that what you guys call them here? She asked me if I had Am I bright or what the hell? Hello? Oh. <laughs> Wait, it's not focused on me. I think my camera hates me.